Hey, welcome back, Valley Middle. Tonight we're going to learn about how you find the circumference of a circle. But first, let's get a, go ahead and start with our ridiculously rich question. How rich is Bill Gates? I got some stunning facts here about the dude. We'll get back to that after our target tonight, which is 11.3a. I can find the circumference of a circle. Let's do this thing. All right, here's the circular problem. Jack needs to find the circumference of his bike tire. Can you help? All right, well, let's take a look here. Here's his bike tire. And the circumference is the distance around the outside of the tire all the way back to here. It's kind of like going all the way around a clock, all the way around. Well, let's see. We know that the circumference is based upon the diameter. And the diameter of this circle here, or bike tire, is 50 centimeters. So I can find the circumference by taking the diameter, D, that's 50, times pi. This funny little symbol is called pi, and that is 3.14. So if I take 50 times 3.14, pop that into my calculator, 50 times 3.14, I get 157. Now if I add the label on there, I have 157 centimeters. So I have to ask myself, does this make sense? Well, remember that pi is like 3.14, approximately 3. So I say, is 50 times 3 about 157? Yeah, that's going to be a little bit bigger because it's actually 3.14. So I've got my answer, and it makes sense. So wait! All right. We need to cover some vocabulary about circles before we move on with our lesson. All right, here's a great graphic, and it's right out of your book if you want to see it again sometime. Um, diameter is this distance from one side of the circle to the other side of the circle, and it goes through the center. The center, of course, is the exact middle of a circle. And the radius is half of the diameter, or the, it is the distance from the center of the circle to any point on the outside or um, circumference of the circle. All right, and here we go. Here's the circumference, just like I had on my bike tire. It's the distance all the way around the outside. So center, middle, diameter, a line from one edge of the circle to the other, going through the center, the radius from the center out. So you can honestly remember that the diameter is going to be twice as big as the radius, or the radius is two times the diameter, because it would be this distance, plus this distance. It would be twice the radius would equal the diameter. I think you guys know that. That's fifth grade. I remember teaching that. All right, uh, a couple other things. We've got the circumference down here, but sometimes we just abbreviate how to find the um, circumference of a circle by writing down that the circumference, or c, equals pi times diameter, or the circumference equals 2 times pi times the radius. We have to do it twice because the radius is half the diameter, all right? I always just go with the diameter, and that's what I'm going to do tonight. Um, but we'll work through it, and you can make the decision to which one of these formulas you want to use. You will always be given the formula uh, on a formula sheet uh, in your MCA or wherever you're testing, okay? So here we go. What is the circumference of this circle? Round the answer to the nearest tenth if necessary. All right, well, we've got a circle here, and we've got the diameter is 63 inches. So, again, I remember that the circumference is equal to the diameter times pi. So I'm just going to plug these values in. Here's 63 times 3.14, right there. If I pop that into my calculator, I get 197.82 inches, and I make sure to label it inches. Now, i got to go back up here. Did I round to the nearest tenth? Oh, boy, i got to round to the nearest tenth. I'm already to the hundredth. That two isn't big enough to bounce that guy up one, so it's just 197.8. All right, so make sure you always look and see if you're, when you get your answer, am I supposed to round to the tenth or the hundredth? Uh, otherwise, when you get to your multiple choice uh, answers, you're not going to see your answer there. And at that point, you can round two. All right, one more thing. Does this make sense? 
All right, it's about three times the diameter. So 63 times three would be like 189. So yeah, it's right in the ballpark, okay? Time for another one. What is the circumference of this circle? Round your answer to the nearest hundredth. I changed it. All right, so we've got a circle here, but we don't have the diameter now. We just have the radius. So remember that the diameter is going to be 8 because it will be 2 times the radius. So, oh, I took some of this stuff away. I put this in because this is probably what you'll see on that test. So we still know that the circumference is the pi times the diameter. So here's the diameter times pi, 3.14. If I pop that into the calculator, I'll go ahead and do it this time. 8 times 3.14 equals 25.12. So 25.12 feet. And I have to round to the nearest hundredth, but hey, I'm already there. I didn't have to round. Does my answer make sense? Let's see. 8 times about 3 would be 24, so yeah, my answer makes sense. Pretty simple target tonight, isn't it? All right, it's time for you to try one, and then we're going to get you right to the ticket. Here we go. What is the circumference of this circle? Well, you answer to the nearest hundredth if necessary. Go ahead. All right, well, my only question is, did you remember to double that radius? I hope so. So... The radius is 21, which would make the diameter 42. So I took 42 times 3.14, popped it into the calculator, and I got 131.88 inches. Let me see, I'm supposed to round to the nearest hundredth. Hey, I'm right on the nearest hundredth, so I don't have to go any further. Does this answer make sense? Well, 40 times 3 would be 120, so yeah, 42 times 3, 0.14, yes, my answer makes sense. All right, time for the ticket of the show. Here it is. It's all you get. What is the circumference of this circle? Good luck. All right, got that written down. I can go on to my ridiculously rich questions. How rich is Bill Gates? All right. Here we go. He's worth 72 billion dollars. Yes, folks, that's nine zeros. But what is 72 billion dollars? Here we go. Weird thing number seven on this list of top things. If Bill Gates is 57 this year, if he assume he lives for another 33 years, he has to spend six million dollars per day to spend all of his money up. Yeah, six million a day for 33 years. All right, here's a great one. I love this one here. He could give everyone on earth $10 for Christmas and still have $2.26 billion left. Can you imagine? I didn't get my 10 spot. All right. Those are just some crazy facts I found out about him. But one you probably didn't know is that he has a very bad mustache. Oh, no. Here, I'm giving him pie in the face. <laughs> That's a really bad math joke. Don't tell your parents. All right. Thanks a lot for listening. Have a good evening.